Yeah. Or would you, you want like me to go ahead? Um, well, I'll introduce it. So, okay. yeah, because I have to open the meeting. And is the Madam Chair ready? Well, it's 5.59 unless you have 6 o'clock. Oh, it is 6 o'clock. Yes. Okay. All right. Sure. Let's do this. Okay. Good evening. Um, it's... <laughs> All right, good evening. It's 6 p.m. and I'd like to open the May 21st, 2020 planning board meeting. Uh, and this meeting is being held virtually through Zoom. Um, our vice chair, Delisa Laterzo, um, is going to explain our process for tonight. Okay, good evening. Uh, the town of Littleton began conducting remote participation Zoom meetings pursuant to Governor Baker's mm -hmm. emergency order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law on March 19th, 2020. Since that time, unanticipated legal concerns related relating to the open meeting law have been brought to our attention by the town clerk. These concerns were supported by the Attorney General's office and confirmed by town council. One concern is that the chat function allows a parallel text conversation to a board's public meeting. The chat is essentially running commentary that is occurring but is not moderated or followed by the chair. All participants and listeners may not be aware of comments being made because some, because some meeting participants join by phone and do not see these conversations. Another concern is conversations between residents within the chat room, which are not incorporated into the public record. In response to these concerns, the town will implement and has implemented the following changes, which in no way prohibit any member of the public from participating in discussion and sharing information during a public meeting, and will ensure that all listeners and participants have equal access to this meeting. People that join the Zoom meeting are set so their microphones are muted. If you call in by phone, please use star six to mute or unmute your phone. So that the meeting can occur in an orderly fashion, we ask that people um, who join keep their microphones on mute so background noises do not interfere with the meeting. If you wish to participate in the meeting, please use the raise your hand function available on Zoom. Or if you call in by phone, dial star nine, which will activate the raise your hand function. The meeting host will notify the chairperson of the raised hands and the chairperson will determine whether and when to allow public comment. When called upon, participants should unmute, then state their name and address. And after speaking, we request that the participant return their microphone back to mute. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much for reading that. Uh -huh. um, so a couple of other quick tidbits. Um, all votes will be conducted by roll call. So members, that means we need you to say your name and then yes or no for every vote that's taken so it's clear for the record. Um, Currently, we, we do have a quorum. We have three planning board members, um, Delisa Laterzo, Vice Chair, Mark Montanari, Clerk. And our other two members may join us um, at some point. Um, and so with that, I will read the agenda items. We have a short meeting this evening. Um, we are looking for this to be one hour simply because the LCTV resources um, are needed elsewhere at 7 p.m. So at 6 p.m., we have a continued public hearing for 35 Shattuck Street, Reuben Hoare Library Slope Site. It's an aquifer and water resource district special permit and site plan review. Um, item number two for board business, we will be um, talking with um, folks from MAPC, uh, Mark Rassicott and Josh Fiala regarding transfer of development rights. And then we will discuss uh, briefly the peer review contract extension. So with that said, um, Let's go ahead and um, open the continued hearing for 35 Shattuck Street. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, Anna, we need to yes. wait for at least four members to do that. Oh, I apologize. You're right. Special permit. Yeah. I'm reaching out to both. I Jeff just, yeah, I just texted Jeff. Thank you. And said, where are you? <laughs> And I texted his wife as well. <laughs> well, oh, he can't say he's stuck Jeff in traffic. Has board, okay, I just, he has Board of Appeals. At 7.15, he does. Uh, at 7.15. We need you on call right now.
Okay. Well, Jerry, did you um, text Jerry? I texted him. I haven't heard. Back. Um, actually, Anna, um, if you don't mind, the 630, um, the transfer of development rights discussion is just uh, board items. Uh, I don't expect Mark or Josh to be able to join us tonight. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So we can certainly move to discuss that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the board had seen the uh, draft survey and okay. excuse, excuse me, excuse sorry. me, Maren. Um, Jeff said he'll be on in five minutes. So, great. okay. Um, so let, let's continue with the yeah. uh, MAPC sorry. discussion if it's going to be a brief one. Mm -hmm. no. um, so the board had seen the draft survey uh, last meeting, if I recall correctly. And um, MAPC would like to go live with that as soon as possible and have it open for a month. Uh, and just looking for the board's permission to do that and looking for any suggestions on outreach uh, for, um, for how, how to get notice out there about the survey. And so what's the proposed date that they're looking at having it live the month of June? Yes. Okay. Um, well, for outreach, uh, another idea would be to um, be able to promote it at town meeting exactly. on June 13th. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a town meeting on June 13th, really? Yes, Saturday morning. Alumni field. Rain date yeah. is Sunday morning. How are you going to do it? Oh, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, you are not. You we have, have to coffee. Be there. Anyway, I don't want to digress. Yes. You, you, you can find out those details later, Mark. But so if everyone who is on, all the members who are on the call, um, do, do we want to proceed with the survey then for the month of June? Absolutely. Yes. Okay, yeah. motion to? I'll make a motion that we um, proceed with the survey uh, whenever Mark can get it ready in the, for the month of June and... I don't know how we're going to do what social media stuff you're going to do, but you guys will figure that out. I second it. All right. So we have a motion to, to do that. Um, so um, vote. Uh, Ms. Letterzo. Yes. Mr. Montanari. Yes. Anna Houston. Yes. All right. So that can go live in June. And then, sorry, uh, Anna, who should, who should discuss the marketing of it? How do you, do you want me to work with Marin on that or you and I can talk about it? Um, well, you know, Jerry is actually working already with, oh, that's right. with, yeah. with them. But right. if you would, because of your marketing expertise, if you wouldn't mind working with Jerry on that for more ideas, that would be great. All right. So, Marin, why don't you just, you and I can touch base and then, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Yeah, that sounds great. I'd be happy to. Okay. So then MAPC, is, or excuse me, um, regarding TDR, Mark is also requesting that we hold a second meeting in June um, to be able to discuss um, additional details. And so there is a request to have another meeting and I would propose June 18th. So we have a meeting already scheduled for Thursday, June 4th. And if we have it two weeks from then, that would be June 18th. Yeah, the discussion this evening was just to check everybody's schedule and see if that would, would work and hopefully be able to go ahead and schedule that. June 18th? Can mm -hmm. we do the second one? Oh, for Mark? Yeah. And the timing on this, Marin, is necessary because? Um, well, the June 4th meeting is already very full um, with uh, Hager Homestead, uh, Healy Corner, and the Littleton Station Area Study Report. Uh, and Mark MAPC is hoping for 60 to 90 minutes um, to discuss TDR, um, just go over what MAPC is doing, uh, gather some more input. And, uh, you know, we, it's been a while since we've had a 
a powwow, I guess, about TDR, and he feels it's time to do so. Well, and, and to reiterate, the, the the funding for the work that Mark is doing came from a grant, and so that mm -hmm. there is some time time constraints as well for for getting Correct. that work done. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So, does June eighteenth work for you too? Sure. Yep. Uh, would you like to make it an early meeting like this? Yes, times? this is fine. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Hopefully Great. by then bars will be open. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, restaurants, excuse me, wrong word, restaurants. So, Maren, do you need a vote for that? Um, no, thank you. No. Okay. All right. So, TDR, Thursday, June 18th, 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. yeah. Remind us. Absolutely. Okay. Um, I take it um, our fourth member isn't here yet? Well, but he said he would be. Of course, then he emailed me, asked me what the ID was. So I'm sure he'll be on any moment now. Did you just click on the link? Yeah, that's what I told him. I said, go to the town website. I'll go to Myron, Myron sent us. Or Myron's email. So can we also um, discuss a peer review contract extension? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right, so um, it's my understanding that um, we have a proposed amendment to the planning board contract with Green International for peer reviews and construction inspections. Um, we have um, that available to, re we've had that available to review and it has um, gone through um, uh, our assistant town manager and town council and, and the budget director. So is there any discussion? No, we're fine. Green's always done a great job. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I've been impressed. All right. So a vote to authorize signature of that contract would be helpful. Okay. I'll make a motion that we authorize Anna to mm -hmm. you want you want to sign it, Myron? That Myron signs the contract for the extension for Green International to be our peer consultant and our Construction overseer, whatever we call them. Is that? So having Marin sign it? Yeah, that's fine. Do you care? Do you want to sign it? Uh, nope, I am fine with Marin signing that. Okay. Delisa? I'm fine Are with you? it as well. You have to okay. second it, Delisa. Hmm? So oh, second. second it. I'm sorry, I second that, yes. <laughs> all right, so all in favor of um, approving the extension and um, having Marin sign, um, all in favor, uh, Delisa. Yes. Mark? Yes. Anna? Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for moving along the process. Okay. All right. So. We done? We took all now? Taking two no. pieces. Take, Still take. waiting for Jeff. <laughs> right. No. We took care of other business, so that's good. We're being productive here. That was Mr. Yates coming in. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's, yeah, okay, I see Laura, so. So now we can um, resume conversation once Mr. Yates is visible regarding 35 Shattuck Street. It's not visible. I'm not, I'm here, but I can't see you. Well, we can't see you either, Jeff. Okay, can you can hear <laughs> me though? Okay. Yes, Great. we can hear you. Uh, Do you have your video on? Okay, there it goes. There, it goes. there okay. you are. Okay. I'll you were go. probably in your pajamas. No, I was in the office actually working. So sorry about this. I have a long meeting tonight with Board of Appeals also. So anyway. Okay. okay. Well, thank you for joining us. We needed you for in order to get the special permit. Certainly. Great. Yes. All right. So thank you. And um, we'll go ahead and, and get started. Um, I understand that we have some new information. Um, does anybody have any comments before we start, board members? Okay. 
So um, as I mentioned earlier, um, uh, Jeff, just, just for your knowledge, is that we only have till 7 p.m. this evening. So we, we should try to be as um, concise as possible. Um, and uh, I understand we have some new information. So what would you like to briefly share with us, Team Library? Uh, well, uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, Nathan Ketchel from Garcia, Gluskin, and D'Souza. Again, uh, the civil engineers on the library as well. We do have uh, Mark Mazzarelli, the landscape architect on the project. Um, uh, since our last meeting, uh, we did have a, a further conversation with uh, Deputy Chief Clancy um, in regards to the emergency access road. Um, I just want to make sure, is the plan visible to everybody? Yes, it okay. is. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let me just grab the annotation. Um, so what has come to light is that the fire department does want uh, the full 20 foot width for the uh, emergency access roadway uh, on the backside of the building. Uh, so the plan has been revised um, to, to show that and that additional two foot width has been added on the east side of the driveway uh, due to constraints uh, from the bordering, ve bordering vegetated wetland um, on the, the west side. Uh, an additional item that uh, Deputy Chief Clancy had asked for was um, the widening of the curve uh, in that emergency gravel driveway um, on the, the west side. And I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit to show this. So uh, what was done was the, the radius in this area um, was uh, pulled further to the west um, and probably less important to the planning board, but uh, very important to the conservation commission is that um, this revision does stay within the constraints of the, um, the existing uh, roadway uh, that's used to access the baseball field. It is actually uh, in regards to setbacks to the resource area, it is still uh, uh, approximately three feet further to the east than the existing um, driveway is right now. So that was the major change on the, the driveway. We also increased the radius. Um, oops. Uh, it's my first day. Uh, oh, okay. That's why. Uh, we increased the radius so that the fire department uh, would be able to more easily maneuver um, onto uh, this gravel driveway from the existing bituminous uh, roadway. And in my conversations with Deputy Chief Clancy, um, it sounds like their main means or their, their thought is that their main access um, to this emergency gravel uh, driveway would be from the middle school um, direction. Uh, so, um, yeah. And then the, the second change that has uh, occurred on these drawings is based on a follow-up comment from Green International. Uh, they recommended that the, uh, what was originally proposed was to reuse the existing, um, the existing, um, reinforced concrete drain pipe um, discharge. And they are uh, recommending that the remainder of that pipe be replaced. It's a matter of approximately eight to 10 feet. So uh, we have accommodated that change as well. Um, those uh, are, are the changes that have been made since uh, we met two weeks ago. Okay, terrific. Thank you very much for um updating us. Yep. Any then, questions, members? Uh, Nathan, you had said at, at the beginning of your remarks that you were widening it to 20 feet, but I think you meant to say you were widening it two feet from 12 to 14 feet, is that correct? 
Uh, well, we widened it two feet from 18 to 20. Oh, okay. Yes. So um, over the course of design, there have been a, a it's it's moved a, a couple of feet, and we finally um, come to uh, 20 feet for a width. Okay. Garden, which that's to accommodate. I understand the the town has a new um, uh, tower fire apparatus. Uh, which has, when they put the stabilizers um, out from it, it has a, a width of 18 feet. So okay. going out to the full 20 gives them a foot on either side to, to uh, place those, those outriggers okay. or stabilizers. And um, Green International did review... Um, updated uh, drainage calculations, and there's no impact to um, the drainage design for this, this change in plans. Okay, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. All right, um, so is there anything else, um, team library that you would like to discuss before we, we talk about any outstanding peer review comments? Um. I guess the only other thing that I would add, and I got an email from Deputy Chief Clancy this afternoon, um, uh, that tomorrow morning we're going to discuss uh, potentially providing some uh, a source of water um, down to the the emergency driveway, and that would really just be in the form of having a a standpipe. Um, somewhere in a, a lawn area adjacent to the parking area that then is is fed down to a, another type of dry yard hydrant um, down there. So that would be the only, at this time, the only other change that I would know of that, that could potentially come. And that would just be in the form of additional pipe in the ground. Okay. All right, thank you. Um... So, Marin, do, do we have a, a list of the outstanding peer review comments that you recommend or? Um, yes, we do. Marin, that's the 35 Shattuck Street peer review. That's, mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Open comments. Okay, so um, peer review open comments May fifteenth. Okay, I have to find the right one. Um, so, do you want me to share that or just go over them? How would you like? Um, either or both. Okay. Share one more button to push. Okay. There we go. You know, I know that we, none of us like this whole virtual way of meeting, but getting the documents available to share is pretty sweet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the type is pretty small to us, Marin. So if you want to go through them, that would be great. Yep. Um, so um, the first comment number one was um, asking for the site plan review checklist that has been submitted. So we're, um, I'm confident that that's ready to go. Um, comment 11, um, DPW had asked for a change in the drainage design. Um, they don't have the equipment um, to... Uh, clean and underground um, infiltration chamber. Um, what's happening behind the scenes is the library and DPW are working together to include um, maintenance cost for the site um, in the library budget. So it wouldn't be an additional cost to DPW um, to rent the jet cleaner that's needed to um, clean this type of um, stormwater appurtenance. Um, and my guess is that's an easier solution than um, doing a uh, 
retention pond or infiltration pond um, based on all the wetlands um, near the site and wetlands and the steep grades. Yeah, yes. Mark, could I? Yep. Sorry, Mr. Ketchell, yeah. you had a comment? Sorry, I, I just wanted to uh, uh, elaborate on that. And um, I mean, what has been determined for the need for maintenance of this system is um, twice annually, the, the three the three water quality type structures would need to be pumped with a back truck. And since we do have the infiltration chambers um, preceded by these water quality units, which collect the majority of the, the suspended solids that um, enter the, the stormwater system, uh, because they are preceded, the chambers are preceded by those structures. Um, the one of the engineers for uh, one of the chamber manufacturers uh, predicts that the the need for jetting uh, of the chamber system would occur once every seven to ten years, and then would be on a, a, a typical timeline as as that. Um, the problem that we we run into with, with the site and and doing a, a surface pond is that we have that three to one slope that's that's on the west and and north and partially on the, uh, the east side. Um, and as you work further from the, towards the south, uh, on the east side of the building, you're then, um, you're then going uphill uh, towards the tennis courts. And then obviously to the south, we have the, the existing parking lot as well. So we're kind of shoehorned into a, a tough spot. So we're, you're not going to replace the underground systems with above ground practices. Then I mean that's well, the, right. That's okay. so. that's we've we've been brainstorming means of of doing a surface structure um, or a surface basin, and uh, at this time it's um, it's not particularly feasible. Okay. Okay, any other comments on that one? Nope. Okay, Not for me. Nope. nothing for me. Okay, comment 12, um, the current the zoning bylaw recommends um, removal of existing trees to be minimized and uh, green has deferred to the board. And if I recall, you had discussed that at the last meeting and had no concerns. Yeah, correct. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Um, comment number 14 um, is about groundwater monitoring. Um, I've included the standard condition, uh, groundwater monitoring condition um, in the uh, decision, in the draft decision for your consideration. Um, Corey Godfrey of the Water Department recommended that um, we don't need, this site doesn't need um, groundwater wells at this point, um, but if conditions in the future um, show that they are required, then they would be installed at a later date. That's fine. That's fine with me. Okay. Um, and the, actually uh, comment 15 goes, um, says pretty much the same thing, um, that groundwater wells could be um, required in the future. Um, Comment 16, um, the uh, engineer uh, revised the construction fencing um, and Green was fine with that. Okay, Maren, hold on just a second. I just mm -hmm. wanted to, to highlight that I saw the um, member uh, Jerry Portante join. Yeah, thank you. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. Yep, yeah, yeah. Um Okay, comment 20 uh, is, this is the emergency access driveway. Um, I would recommend a uh, condition um, to satisfy the two um, fire safety issues, the emergency access and the fire flow. Um, that was, I think that was the water um, condition that Nathan was referring to. Um, something like emergency access and fire flow shall be to the satisfaction of the planning board on advice from the fire safety officer prior to um, prior to um, building permit being issued. That sounds that's fine. That sounds fine. reasonable. Um, 
So in that, <laughs> would do comment 20 and 21. Uh, and then comment 34, I think that's the change that Nathan just referred to. Mm -hmm. Yep. The, the standpipe change, you mm -hmm. mean? Okay. Yes. Um, or the drainage pipe. Oh, the drainage. drainage. Okay. Yeah, the one that goes under the emergency driveway. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. Um, Courtney Semlo did review um, the updated plans, and sh she had no concerns um, with with the responses to these comments. Great. Perfect. So that was it. Good. I say we close the hearing and take a vote. Well, we, there's one minor item before before we do that. Um, are there any folks out in the public forum that would like to make a public comment? I'm seeing any raised hands, Madam Chair. Y you do not, you said? That is correct. I do not see any raised hands. Okay. All right. So, members, um, how would you like to proceed with this? We need to close the hearing first. Okay. So, um, do I have a motion to close the hearing? I'll make a motion that we close the public hearing for the Littleton Library on at Shattuck Street. I'll second it. Okay. So, we have a motion to close the hearing as there is no further discussion and no public comment. Um, Ms. Laterzo. I vote yes. Mr. Montanari. I vote yes. Mr. Yates. I vote yes. Anna Houston, yes. Mr. Portante, um, is he eligible to vote? I'm not sure when you came in, Jerry. Yeah, why not? I only missed what? 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I just didn't know when you Half came in for, for the hearing. So, Mr. Portante, what is your vote? Yes. All right. So, that is a yes to close the hearing. And now we can move forward to um, discuss the, 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 the decision to, well, we have the draft decision. Mm -hmm. So, and we are going to go ahead and add to that decision the two comments for fire access. And I believe that was on number 20 and 21. Is that correct, Maren? Um, yes, comments 20 and 21. Okay. Does anyone have any other items on the deci draft decision to discuss? I don't. Okay. Well, not hearing any further discussion then, um, do we have a motion to accept the draft decision with those two amended items? I'll make a motion to accept the draft decision with the amended items. I'll second it. All right, so we have a motion to accept the draft decision with the two amended items. Um, let's take a vote. Uh, Ms. Laterzo? Yes. Mr. Montanari? Yes. Mr. Portante? Yes. And Mr. Yates? Yes. Anna Mr. Houston? Houston? Anna Houston, yes. Thank you, Mr. Montanari. <laughs> all right, we have all yes. Congratulations, Team Library. Thank you. Onwards to the next step. That's right, yes. onwards to the next step. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Have a good evening. Okay. Thank you. Thank so um, for, for our planning board members who, who came on a little bit later, um, while we were um, waiting, um, we did go ahead and take care of some of the board business. Um, we did approve the peer review contract extension, and we did approve to have uh, the transfer development rights survey go out for the month of June. And since Mr. Good. Rassicott requested a second planning board meeting up to an hour and a half um, to be able to discuss the progress of transfer development rights. Um, we are scheduling a second meeting in June for Thursday, 
June 18th. So we have our meeting on June 4th, then June 18th. He, he wants an hour and a half walk? That was the initial discussion that I had with him. But Maren, can you make sure that, that, that they understand we don't want to hear a repeat of everything they've already told us, that this mm -hmm. should be succinct and to the point and... Yeah, I mean, we, we met this week or last week with them, um, and there's there's a lot of detail. I think the question is going to be is, and what I advised him to do was bring the summary discussion, bring the high level how it's mechanically going to work. If we if there's a need to go into the model itself, it's quite complex. So I, I don't know what the appetite is to go into a model that's got a lot of moving parts. It's very deep. Um, and I don't know what the benefit would be to the process to go that deep. That said, they can make the model available for everyone to review. But if, if this is really going to uh, be about sending area to receiving area and ratio and how that ratio is going to work and how it's derived, if you keep it up at a high level, you're not going to need an hour and a half. If you want to go into the model, he's going to have to teach a class on how it's derived. No, we don't want the minutia. We're not going to want that. So you don't need an hour and a half. <laughs> and I advised him that. I said, you should probably, you know, you should be able to do the whole thing in about 45 minutes if he stays on point. <clears throat> the only way we go sideways is if we, if it somebody's challenging the ratio and we, we don't get it, there's not a good way to describe how it works. I think that would be more on a presentation level, but. I think he's going to have to go through it a couple of times before it really sinks in. Cause there's a lot of, um, it's like buying a mattress. You really don't You're sleep know. in an hour and a half. Well, I'm just saying, I think 45 minutes, if you can't do it in 45 minutes, he's going to lose half of us anyways. Yeah. 45 minutes, Myron. That's mine. Got it. Got it. Up to an hour. Mm -hmm. Does that sound reasonable then Myron? from what I you know? Yes, yes. Okay. It does. Mm -hmm. All right. So there you go. Um, are we done? done? Uh, we, 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 we are done unless you oh have Oh, my any God. I think this else. is the shortest planning board meeting ever. Well, we just had one. So, I mean, you know. Go team. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, so, um, yeah. So next meeting is Thursday, June 4th. Hope everybody has a nice Memorial Day. Stay safe. And then we need a uh, motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion that we adjourn until June 4th. I'll second. All right. So uh, last vote of the night, uh, Ms. Letarizzo to adjourn. Yes, I vote to adjourn. Mr. Montanari. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Portante. Yes. And Mr. Yates. Yes. Ms. All Ms. right. Maren, thank you for all your help this evening. Stay thank safe, you. everyone. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Yeah.